Morning people, uh, VW Terrain in for a uh, tow bar and electrics today, up on a lift, uh, just doing an initial inspection, customer's going to start towing this vehicle, so I want to make sure that uh, rear pads, discs are good, something I spotted was, they are scorn, they're not seriously weakened, I've checked the pads in the side as well, they are wearing even, evenly, but I will just tell the customer like they're about 50%, um, but yeah, so uh, it's got front and rear parking sensors. Customer opted for uh, bypass relay. Uh, he's got the ability to turn the parking sensors off in the front anyway, so he's happy with that. So yeah, I'll get a couple of videos stitched together and uh, bring you along for the journey. If you like this sort of stuff, um, please follow the channel. Uh, helps grow and promote uh, to others. Um, most of my jobs are record and stick up, proof of customer, and uh, for others to learn. Nice one. So here we are, VW Turan, up on the ramp, ready for tow bar. 13 pin electrics with a bypass relay. Uh, upon taking the wheel off, you can see the discs are scorn. They're not seriously weakened though, just scorn. But I can see, he's had, he's had pads changed, they're 50%. I've checked the other side as well, they are wearing evenly. So we'll start stripping off back bumper. Uh, I think we've got to take lights out as well for memory. I think there's bolts there. I'll record this, the videos as we're going through and I'll post it up just to help others. A couple of very rusty Torx bolts in there. Um, bump stop slightly perished. Uh, it's looking good, so uh, yeah, let's crack on with the job and get it done. So, in our arch is out, we've got to take the mud flap off. A couple of T20s, T25s, a couple of T25s going up here. One there, one there, one there, one under there. There's one up by here. Um, and then start taking the bumper off, got a plastic clip up there, take that out. Do the same on the other side. Oh, parking sensors. Uh, plug there to disconnect the loom. Now we'll get the headlights out because I believe there's going to be two bolts holding it down there. Uh, go to the same on the other side to get the lights off. So this plastic clip should just pop up. There's my screwdriver gone. I'll pull that out and there they are. See it down there, they look like T25s also. So, yeah, we'll replicate on the other side. Uh, there's a chance, hopefully not, but there is a chance we might have to take this off and that off. I'm hoping we can cheat a little and plumb into the electrics this side because it's bypass relay. The kit normally supplies scotch locks. Um, I think that's what they call the little like, piggyback connectors almost. So, this is what she looks like currently. And yeah, we'll keep you updated. So, back bumpers off. Take the crash bar out as well. Um, when you get the bumper out, there are under here through the bumper. There's one there, there's another one there, there and there, T27s, uh, clean up with a wire brush, you can get to them from the inside, bit of oil, because otherwise they're going to snap, you won't get your bumper to go back on properly, there's a crash bar here, then there's 13 mil bolts, again these are quite stiff and tight to get to, so just make sure you wire wheel and clean, as for the there's only two here. Why? That's the VW life. That's off. We will now start to piece together the instructions of the bar. That's the, I must admit, these guys have days. 
I've always uh, bought my tow bars from these uh, whenever I fit them for a customer, supplied by these, fitted by myself. Highly recommended. So that's the bar mounted. I'm just going to put the customer went for a uh, swan neck and brightly. So when I was in here, yeah, there's a few rust spots, so just brushed them down. A bit of wax oil over in there, makes sense. That's an exhaust hanger bracket, replaceable like them. Not going to bother spraying that. So we'll just get this element on. We'll talk to spec. Same over here, a couple of rust spots. Went a bit overboard, seemed a bit daft doing a spot there and a spot there. So I just kind of cover them up. All the muck that was in here has been cleaned out. Same again, up over there. Just mounts in basically, slots into where the oil would come out. I just spot another spot there, look at that. Um, they, they give you instruction, I think it's 75 newton meters. That's all done. Just gotta wire it in now. So I'll cut went for a 13 pin. There's the kit. So you run a live from the fuse box down to the back. Comes into um, bypass relay. Plumb that into that, and then you feed that to your lights on the vehicle. So at the stressful point now, everything's back together. Arch back on, wheel on, that's on. Just got four bolts in there to tighten up. Here's the bar. Now we're in stressful mode of wiring. Um, so that's all back on. Um, yeah, we're good. It's indicators except for the right side. Uh, the rest of it then is plumbed in up there. Relay, uh, charge relay, power goes up and over, round down. We run alongside there, under there, up to the glove box, under the glove box. It comes out down there, and then we'll fuse it off on one of these. Here we are, all done. 113 pin, tested. Um, not hitched up like the back together, got box together. And yeah, engine bay done dusted.